The next important investigation is an endoscopic examination of the nose, sinuses, and postnasal space. This is done here in a clinic and is done under local anesthesia with a spray that numbs your nose. It is a relatively painless procedure, but one can see so much in the nasal cavity. Today, we are using high-definition videoscopes where every blood vessel can be seen on the screen. During the uh, nasoendoscopic examination, we are looking for polyps, mucor pus from the sinuses, if there's any remote uh, tumor in the nose or nasopharynx. From that, we have some idea whether the patient has a pure allergic rhinitis or the patient has a sinusitis or a combination of both. The next very significant investigation is a CT scan of the sinuses. This can be done on the first consultation if one is not sure whether the patient has a predominant sinusitis or allergic rhinitis or it can be done after maximal medical therapy where one wants to know which sinus is obstructed. After a, a thorough history and a high definition videoscope examination of the nose and sinuses, one can be reasonably sure up to 80% whether it's a pure uh, allergic rhinitis or sinusitis.